Hey guys, it's Will from Mizback Consulting, and in this video, I want to show you guys how to export your customer list from Shopify and upload it to Facebook Business Manager so you can create custom audiences for retargeting or lookalikes or whatever purposes you want to use those audiences for. Okay, guys, so here we are on the admin of my test store, and so the first thing I want you guys to go ahead and do is navigate to this customers tab on your store and so you should see all of your customers here and so this will include people who have both you know placed orders with you and then also signed up via your contact form or you know however you garner their contact details those people will be housed here so if you just want to export all your customers and that's it uh, and you don't care about filtering them down and getting more granular about it, as far as who we're going to target with these Facebook audiences, then uh, you can just skip to the next part of the video. If you want to get more granular and you want me to teach you about these uh, Shopify QL filters here, stick around. Let me teach you guys a couple of these filters that we use with our clients here. Um, one of the big ones is number of orders greater than or equal to one. And um, then you also want uh, right here, orders placed, matches, and then amount equal uh, is greater than or equal to some low number. So I'm going to set this to like 20 here. And so what this is basically segmenting to is customers who have placed an order and have spent at least 20 US dollars on any order over the entire lifetime of the store. The reason we add this additional parameter here is because uh, sometimes you'll have customers that will purchase and then return orders. And if you refund them the whole cost of the order, they'll still pop up for the first filter. Um, and we actually don't want to target, you know, we don't want to get lookalike people that are lookalikes as far as returning orders and stuff like this. So this parses those people out. The other one, um, if you're going to run an ad campaign to a specific product, you know, I would recommend using the, uh, the products purchased filter here. And you can type products purchase matches and then ID equals and Shopify will list out all your products and go ahead and select whatever product you're actually running that ad campaign for. So in our case, um, just so I'll, this guy will still be here, I'm going to actually select the product for this test order. And then don't worry about any other uh, criteria here and just go ahead and run that, that query. And you'll notice this guy's still here because the order that he placed had that uh, that test product, the 3P fulfilled snowboard. So those are just a couple of uh, filters you can use. You know, there's a ton more, and you can get super granular as far as who you actually want to target uh, with these Facebook audiences and who you want to build look like audiences around, etc. The thing to note here is you really want at least a hundred people in these audiences if you're going to build a lookalike from it and even better would be like a thousand people that way facebook's algorithm has enough data to just crunch on and figure out who is actually in your customer base and what attributes uh, exist about them and all this so uh, i'm just going to go back to all of our customers here and export them so I'm going to go ahead and click export here. Customer selected, all customers, that's fine. Get rid of tags, meta fields, we don't need those. And then for the file format, you can just keep the default here. Um, so go ahead, export customers, and it's going to send them to the email that I've linked to um, this store, this account on this store. So I'm going to go ahead and download that, and I'll see you guys there. Okay, so here we are in my um, email. And you notice that we've received this email here. So I'm going to go ahead and click the link to download. And OK, so it's downloaded. I'm going to go ahead and open this up in Google Sheets for us. OK, so once you're over in Google Sheets here, you want to go ahead and import, upload, browse, and go ahead and click the uh, CSV here. You can leave all the default options and go ahead and import data. And so you'll notice now that it's populated all these fields. And so in the next part of the video, I'm basically going to cover which fields you need, which are extraneous, and what the fields should be called. We do not need this customer ID column, so we're going to go ahead and delete that column. 
And for first name, we do need this column, but we're just going to name it FN, last name LN, email. We need but lowercase email accepts email marketing. We don't need, so I'm going to delete that. Default address one, we do not need. Uh, we're going to delete that column. Default address two, we don't need. Default address city, we actually do need. If this is filled out, it's just going to be CT here. Uh, default address province code, you want to change to ST. Default address country code, you want to change to just lowercase country. Um, let me clean up these columns here. Default address zip should just be zip lowercase. Uh, default address phone and phone. We actually want these. Sometimes what you'll notice is that um, both of these columns are filled out. Like some of some of the address phones are filled out and some of the phones are filled out. And it, basically you want to grab as many numbers as you possibly can and put them in one column. You guys can just ask ChatGPT for a formula as far as grabbing for both columns. It's pretty simple. Um, but for now, I'm just going to delete this column and this column I'm just going to call lowercase phone. Accepts SMS marketing. We're going to delete that column. Total spent, we're going to keep, but we're going to call it value here. Total orders, you don't need. Note, you don't need. And tax exempt, you do not need. So delete all of those. So you should be left with uh, first name, last name, email, uh, city, state, country, zip, phone, value. And those are all of the columns that Facebook supports and that you need. Okay, so once that's done, go ahead and name this, you know, whatever audience you want to name it. Go ahead and click file here, download, and then you want to download as a CSV here. And so that should download, and then you want to jump into Facebook Business Manager to upload this, and so I'll see you guys there. Okay, so once we're here in your Facebook Business Manager, you want to go ahead, hit all tools here, and go to audiences here. It's going to take a little bit to load here. And we're going to go ahead and create a custom audience here from a customer list, hit next, and go ahead. We already have the template set up, so just click next here, hit upload a file and hit this test audience or whatever you named yours. And, and here where it says, does your file include a column for customer value? Make sure you hit yes here and then set that to be the value column. You can name your audience whatever you want. Create the description as whatever you want. Hit next here. Don't worry about this action needed here. It's just complaining that the state is empty. Your states will probably be filled out so you won't have to deal with that. Go ahead through these and make sure that everything is sort of matching up properly. But if you follow the tutorial, it should be fine. Hit import and create here. So this test audience is populating, but it's available to use. Right now, we're going to actually go ahead and create lookalike audiences with it by navigating in here and just typing the name of this audience here. We're going to target the United States. And we want to go ahead and create three audiences here that are lookalikes. And so for those of you that do not know what a lookalike audience is, essentially what they are is Facebook's algorithm is going to look at all the details about people in this test audience here. And it is going to look over all the people in the United States and figure out who the most similar people are, and then it will give us audiences that are 1% similar, 2% to 3%, 1% to 2%. So basically these people are just very similar to the people in here, not necessarily the same people. And that's it. Now you've got a powerful customer audience built directly from your Shopify store customers and imported into Facebook Business Manager, and so you can run ads with these, retargeting, uh, lookalike campaigns, whatever you want to do. If you found this video helpful, I'd appreciate if you hit like, subscribe, and drop any questions in the comments. 
And if you run a Shopify store and want help turning your customer data into consistent revenue through smarter marketing, head to the link below to book a free strategy call with me. I specialize in helping six-figure brands on the Shopify platform grow profitably to save them figures with analytics-led marketing and conversion rate optimization. So if that sounds like something that you'd be interested in, head to that link and I'll see you there.